హలో ఆల్ వెల్కమ్ టు దిఎం ఎమర్జెన్సీ మెడిసిన్ ఛానల్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ పెరెంట్రల్ ఇంజెక్షన్స్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ విల్ విల్ సే అబౌట్ ద డెఫినేషన్ పెరెంట్రల్ ఇంజెక్షన్ మీన్స్ ఎనీ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రూట్ అదర్ దెన్ ద గ్యాస్ట్రో ఇంటెస్టైనల్ ట్రాక్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎంట్రల్ రూట్ సో పెరెంట్రల్ రూట్ మీన్స్ ఎనీ టైప్ ఆఫ్ రూట్ అదర్ దెన్ ద గ్యాస్ట్రో ఇంటర్టై గ్యాస్ట్రో ఇంటెస్టైనల్ ట్రాక్ that will call it as a parenteral in- injection so what are all includes in the parenteral injections are intradermal subcutaneous intramuscular intraosseous and percutaneous except enteral root uh, any root com- uh, will comes under the parenteral injections so next uh, next we'll see about the uh, before going to the topic we'll uh, so in this video we are going to discuss about intradermal subcutaneous and intramuscular injections so before going to the topic we'll discuss about the skin layers what are all the skin layers uh, the needle will penetrate into the body uh, we'll see the one we'll see the skin layers skin layers are first uh, first layer is epidermis then dermis then subcutaneous tissue or loose connective tissue then mas- muscle layer so these all layers will include in the skin layers so so next uh, next how the medication will come so how the medication will be prepacked medications will come in two types one thing was ampule and another one as a oil so this is the ampule ampule is the breakable sterile glass container will use for only single dose single dose only this is the oil oil is a gla- glass or plastic bottle that will uh, that will comes with a rubber stopper so this this can we uh, this we, we can use for a single dose or multiple dose it will it will come in for a single dose and multiple doses the samples also this will vary from uh, 1 ml to 10 ml depends upon the drug and medication so this is the difference between ampule and oil next one is the syringe what is the syringe syringe is the syringe consists of a needle body or barrel and this is the plunger and this is the tip so this is all about introduction so now now, now we'll see about the intradermal injections so first what is the definition for intradermal injections intradermal injections are injecting a drug or medication into the dermal layer that is just below the epidermis that is intradermal injections usually we will use 27 28 gauze needles mm, 28 and 27 gauze needles uh, what are all the sites next what are all the sites we will prefer what are all the steps we are going to take for a procedure we all next we next we'll see about that all the things so what are all the sites usually we'll prefer is forearm uh, forearm and uh, upper back so forearm why we are preferring this area so only means forearm will be is a very high visibility and uh, less hair will be there so that's why we are choosing the forearm only for intradermal so that is that that both are sites for intradermal next uh, usually this intradermal injection will use only for less than 1 ml injection only less than 1 ml will be drug content will be there so next we'll see the steps before going and before going a, before going to give an any injection follow the five right rule everywhere first one is right patient right drug right dose right right time and right root these are all the things we will keep in mind before giving every injection and uh, procedure was always always determine the medication need depends upon the pl- uh, present clinical condition of the patient determine the medication need and explain the procedure to the patient and make him feel may make, make the patient comfortable first and uh, obtain a history and vitals or any allergies is there previous uh, previous if he if he experiences any allergies or anything past pastly we have to know the obtain history cla- uh, fully clar- clarity with the patient so that is uh, first main thing introduction and next one was assemble the equipment what are all the things you needed so alcohol preparation uh, swabs and syringe 
and uh, the drug will be what is um, what whatever we are going to give the drug will be ready and before giving the drug check the drug must and should expiry date expiry date and whether it is discolored or any cloudy formation is there must and should we we, we will check for every drug before giving so that is the uh, first initial steps what are all the things needed and what are all the uh, steps we will take uh, we will take into consideration next for procedure next for procedure always uh, cleanse the area what is the uh, where you are going to give the injection with the antiseptic solution or alcohol swab then stop ji the procedure how we will do so first always choose appropriate size and one more thing avoid areas that are containing the superficial blood vessels why because it, uh, it's very very easy to prone that systemic absorption blood vessels are there so always avoid that areas where the superficial blood vessels are absent in that forearm then cleanse the area in circular motion center to periphery to avoid the bacterial contamination and wait for few seconds until the dry that area then take a needle inject the needle at 10 to 15 degrees angle Ten to fifteen degree angle, and give inject uh, give sol uh, give medication slowly, and ab observe for any for uh, observe for a bowel formation or small bump. So that that indicates medicine was collected under the dermal layer. So always after giving the intradermal injection, look for the. intradermal uh, look for the for collection of the drug inside that where you given the injection site then remove the needle remove the needle quickly and place that area with the cotton apply pressure for some time don't rub that area just gently gen just gently put the cotton and don't rub the area and for uh, antibiotics and some uh, tuberculin syringe we will place the mark with the date and time the purposes for intradermal injections where all you will use the intradermal injections commonly we will use for tuberculin syringe tuberculin test and uh, local in local anesthetic local anesthetic for uh, iv cannulation and uh, for anti or antibiotics test us we will use commonly this areas only hmm. so now let's move on to the subcutaneous injections sub uh, we'll see the definition first subcutaneous means so below the dermis layer we are we are going to inject the medication below the dermis layer uh, that is loose connective tissue or sub uh, sub connective tissue so commonly we we'll use uh, smaller than the intradermal injection In intradermal injection needle that is usually insulin syringe contains 29 28 gauge needles and uh, <laughs> so we will use insulin syringes are separately uh, for subcutaneous already uh, insulin pens insulin syringes uh, usually we will use so drug content also less than 1 ml only we will prefer to give the subcutaneous injections next we will see the sites where all you will use, where all you will give the subcutaneous injections preferably abdomen and the deltoid muscle and thigh muscles that is uh, Uh, lateral uh, lateral and anterior muscles anterior uh, anterior muscles are rectus femoris muscle and vastus lateralis muscle so this this thing this uh, all areas we will commonly use to give the subcutaneous injections so ne next we'll move on to the next we'll move on to the procedure how we will do the procedure so no, now now we'll see how we will give the subcutaneous injections here we are preferring the deltoid muscle Uh, where how can you locate the deltoid muscle is um, acromion process of the scapula back side that is below 4 to 5 cm deltoid muscle will be there 
you just occlude uh, pinch that uh, pinch that skin area to separate the uh, muscle and uh, subdermis layer muscle and dermis layer we have to separate don't occlude the muscle completely you just skin and dermis layer just separate from the muscle layer and insert the needle at 45 degrees angle and inject the drug into the subcutaneous tissue slowly inject and remove the needle quickly and place the cotton and don't rub the area so now we'll move on to the intramuscular injections intramuscular injection is penetrating the needle into the epidermis dermis and subcutaneous tissue and muscle layer so the, these are all the skin layers that the needle will penetrate into the muscle epidermis dermis subcutaneous and into the muscle layer usually we'll give a large volume with compared to subcutaneous and intradermal you can we can use 5 ml drug content 5 ml drug we can be used for intramuscular injection so sites uh, what are all the sites we are usually preferred uh, deltoid muscle commonly we will prefer and uh, la vectus uh, vestus lateralis muscle and rectus femoris muscle will prefer for intramuscular injections so now let's see the procedure always cleanse the area with antiseptic solution in center to center to periphery circular motion to avoid the bacterial contamination pinch that area where you are going to give the injection introduce the needle at 90 degrees angle into the muscle layer the into the muscle layer after inserting just pull back the plunger pull back pull back the plunger check whether any blood blood is coming into the syringe or not if blood is not coming then you can you can give slowly the injection you can give we can inject the medication slowly why we are checking here means there is a chances for a there is a chances for a injection is going to prick the vessels so that's why we are checking con for confirmation remove the needle quickly and place the cotton over the area and don't rub the area so we'll see the complications now what are all the complications we are regularly facing uh, while giving this intramuscular intradermal and subcutaneous injections sir usually for uh, some allergies allergies will come if patient is not sensitive to that uh, drug and local uh, lo locally where you injected the area inflammation will be there and some bruises blue bruises also will form and inflammation reactions sometimes hematoma also will forms hmm. and stop ji so so far in this video we covered intradermal subcutaneous and intra intramuscular injections thank you all